We're here to talk about some rules and regulations you need to know for bench for your high school weightlifting season. After the athlete gets set up, you need to make sure that your head is in contact with the bench, your shoulders and shoulder blades are in contact with the bench, and so is your butt, okay? You have to keep those points in contact the whole time you're pressing through. So you cannot uh, take your hips off the bench or your butt off the bench, that would be a no rep, they will call you on that. You cannot lean over to the side and take a shoulder blade off the bench. That would be a no lift and you would have to wait um, for your next attempt uh, in order to do that. Another thing you need to go over is your feet. They must stay in contact with the floor or if you're on plates for some different height athletes, that's fine. They can tippy toe it, they can shimmy around, right? All of that's fine, you cannot leave contact with that. So that would constitute a no rep or a no lift and you would be asked to leave and then come back and perform your next attempt after that, okay? You can also get a lift off or the athlete can lift the bar off the rack themselves. Now notice, every time she has already, she's locked out her arms and she started with the barbell still and her arms motionless, okay? You must unrack it and show a stop and a pause and a lockout, okay? What you cannot do is take it off the rack and then just go into a press right away, okay? Um, you must show that you are locked out, steady and still, and then from there, you can decide when you're ready to descend the bar for your press, okay? Now, the judge will be sitting there just where the box is held in the previous videos for snatch and clean and jerk, okay? The judge will tell you to press after it is on your body, okay? After the barbell's on your body, all right? So she's gonna get a lift off. She's allowed to descend the bar whenever she feels fit. Judge will say press. She presses it off. She must pause there. And then the judge will say wrap. Okay, uh, let's go over what would happen if you did not wait for the judge to say press, right? So Alexis is gonna take the barbell off. She's ready to descend. That would be a no rep or a no lift, okay? You have to wait for that judge to say press. Then you press. After you show a lockout, just like the snatch and the jerk, you must show a complete lockout at the top. Okay, you can obviously press into it because you will, but they have to be locked out. And then the judge will say wrap. That's when your spotter can help you as well. Okay, um, let's show uh, not pausing at the top. So she's going to wrap it, right? She's going to do her press. That would be a no lift, okay, and a no rep. She must wait down here for the press call. Press. She must wait for the wrap call. And then wrap. Okay? So on the way down, you go when you're ready. On the way up, you wait for the press. And you wait for the wrap as well. Uh, and the arms and elbows must lock out at the same time. So let's go ahead and press. See how that one locked out and that one caught up after? They both have to reach that lockout simultaneously, just like that, and then wrap it. Now let's go over with the spotter, okay? A spotter can help with the lift off. The spotter must let go. What? Press. Wrap. Now after the judge says wrap, they are allowed to help the athlete. If the spotter has to help the athlete at any point of that lift, it's a no lift. Press. Let's say she doesn't get it, right, or it's falling back down and she needs help. If I have to help her or the spotter has to help, it would be a no lift. You must perform all of that by yourself. 
Let's go over this one more time. We're going to show a good rep for Alexis. Press. Rep. That would be a good rep for your chest press. 